Hi there. A lot of you have asked me how to set up a float and a float bucket. The purpose of a float bucket is a bucket that only allows a little bit of water, probably an inch and a half to two inches of water in the bucket so it can come out, let's see, through the other hole and feed either the Alaska Grow Bucket System, which is a water feed, feeding from the bottom that I'm going to be uh, building and you'll be able to see videos on uh, this channel and also the kiddie pool system when you have a kiddie pool set up like I have I'm going to be doing one shortly there's my kiddie pool right there when you have the kiddie pool system set up you only want about two inches of water an inch and a half to two inches how do you regulate that with a bucket <laughs> with a uh, a float system so I'm going to show you how it all goes together. Here is what goes in it. Okay, you can see down here there is a float. Uh, it comes with a little lug nut hole, uh, kind of nut to hold it on, and this rubber thing, which I'll show you in a second. So how does it work? Well, the float itself, okay, there's not many moving parts. It's just this right here, okay? It moves a little bit. The whole idea is you screw this into the bucket, okay? and actually it's going to be like this, I'm holding it upside down. You screw this into the bucket and the water comes in the bucket and it fills up the bucket, fills up the bucket, fills up the bucket, then that goes up and when it stops like that, what happens is, you can't really see, but there's a little hole inside that is fed right out through here and when this comes up it pushes the plunger against the hole and stops water from going in. So the whole idea is you fill your bucket and when you get the level you want it stops. Now this adjust, I see. Okay, I have it set up like this here, but you can adjust it if you get it in the bucket and it's not where you want it to be. You can make it go down, you can make it go up, you can adjust it just to get the right height. So the main thing is to get this in the bucket. So let me get that back on tight again. Oops. I know basically where I need mine, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Okay, so how do you get that in the bucket? Well, first of all I took a bucket like this and I had to drill this hole in it. So the way you get the hole in the bucket is with a step drill or any kind of drill. So this one goes right up to the size hole you need which I believe is 7 8 And the whole idea is you drill it and now you can stop halfway and it only drills a hole halfway. It's a pretty neat tool. So once you have the hole in there what you do, and actually the hole is the same on the other side for my little grommet. So once you make the hole for that, all you need to do is to take this thing here, put it inside. It's hard for me to show you because I'm, I get the camera on the wrong side of the bucket. Okay, You put it right inside and it goes in the hole. So you can see how I got that there? Yeah, I'm wiggling it. It goes in the hole and when it comes out of the hole, Okay, you just take this and you put it on there. It fits perfectly. Now I showed you the right way it goes in. I want to make sure I don't put it in upside down. Yeah, because it has to have the freedom to go up. Because when it goes up with the water, it's going to stop it. Okay, so you can see how, see inside there? When it goes, I don't know if you can see with my hand in there too. But when it goes up, it's going to shut the water off. And the water is going to go in here. Now, if you notice, this other hole is lower. See how high that one is? And how low this one is? And this hole is going to have a grommet in it. Let me put the grommet in. They're always very fun to get in there. Okay. And in this grommet, you can use a T-connector. So that goes on like that. And my... Uh, tubes, these things, will come off of this. Okay, so it comes out of there, and it's going to come. It's going to go into into one of these, and into the next system, next system, next system. So I have it going into here, and this is going to go into the kiddie pool. Now, how do I hook this up to the water? Well, there's my 50 gallon. It's a collapsible jug, and on the other end by the uh, outtake I got this little hose this is actually a washing machine hose and it just so happens to fit perfectly 
right over here. But let me tighten this first. I want to make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't leak. Okay. And then I just take this and I screw that on. Been muscling it on so much and off today that it's kind of getting stuck. So there we go. There's the whole system. It goes in there, and there's your float, and there's the outtake. And that, folks, is how you put in a float, and you have the float system. So the whole idea is now, okay, let me move that back. The water goes out of there, comes and floats right in here. It fills it up to about this deep, and the water comes out of this part and fills up Oh, the different buckets that goes through Alaska buckets or the swimming pool and when the water in the pool gets that much it's going to backwash and stop the system so everything will have the exact amount of money of water as that float has if you want more water in you raise it higher if you want less water you can just lower it so uh, pretty neat system I hope that helps you to understand the whole float system thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye